Hello aspirants, welcome to Eduriv. Today, in this video we are going to discuss the current affairs of 27th December 2022. Our UPSC experts have ensured to cover all the topics from the news in less than 15 minutes to save your time. We have reviewed all the important newspapers and magazines, including the Hindu, Indian Express, Down to Earth, PIB and others to bring this video to you. In this video, we will be covering the following seven topics, bomb cyclones, wheel ball divas, geoglyphs, good governance day, foreign policy of India, animation, visual effects, gaming and comic, AVGC, sector, third largest economy. So, let's get started. Our first topic is bomb cyclones. A bomb cyclone is a large and intense storm system that has a low pressure center and is accompanied by a range of weather events such as blizzards, thunderstorms, and heavy precipitation. These storms can be particularly dangerous and can cause significant damage. Bomb cyclones form when a mass of low-pressure air or warm air meets a high-pressure mass or cold air. This creates winds as the air flows from high pressure to low. A bomb cyclone is characterized by a rapid intensification with the pressure dropping at least 24 millibars over a 24-hour period. A millibar is a unit of atmospheric pressure. The rapid increase in the pressure difference between the two air masses leads to stronger winds. This process is known as bombogenesis. So, there you have it, a brief explanation of bomb cyclones. These storms can be dangerous and destructive, so it's important to stay informed and prepared if one is forecast in your area. Now our second topic is Veer Bal Divas. Guru Gobind Singh was born on 22 December 1666 in Patna, Bihar. His birth anniversary is based on the Nanak Shahi calendar. He became the Sikh Guru at the age of 9, following the demise of his father, Guru Tegh Bahadur, the ninth Sikh Guru. He was assassinated in 1708. Guru Gobind Singh is known for his significant contributions to the Sikh religion, including the introduction of the turban to cover hair and the founding of the principles of Khalsa or the five Ks. The five Ks are Kesh, uncut hair, Kanda, wooden comb, Kada, iron or steel bracelet, Kirpan, dagger, and Kashera, short breeches. These were the five articles of faith that a Khalsa must always adorn. He also laid down many other rules for the Khalsa warriors to follow, such as abstaining from tobacco, alcohol, and halal meat. The Khalsa warrior was also duty-bound to protect innocent people from persecution. Guru Gobind Singh named Guru Granth Sahib, the religious text of the Khalsas and the Sikhs, as the next guru of the two communities. In addition to his religious contributions, Guru Gobind Singh was also a warrior. Fighting against the Mughals in the Battle of Muktsar in 1705 and the Battle of Anandpur in 1704, in which he lost his mother and two minor sons who were executed, and his eldest son also died in battle. Guru Gobind Singh was also a literary figure, with contributions including the Jap Sahib, Amrit Savaye, and the Zafar Nama, a letter to the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb. Now next topic is geoglyphs. Geoglyphs are a form of prehistoric rock art that are created on the surface of laterite plateaus through incision, picking, carving, or abrading. They can be in the form of rock paintings, etchings, cup marks, and ring marks. There are more than 1,500 pieces of geoglyph art, also known as Katal Shilpa, spread across 70 sites in the Konkan region, which spans approximately 900 kilometers along the coastline. This region has a large number of porous laterite rock, which is conducive to carving and is found throughout the area. The geoglyphs provide evidence of human settlements in the region from the Mesolithic, or Middle Stone Age, to the early historic era. The geoglyphs depict a variety of figures including humans, animals such as deer, elephant, tiger, monkey, wild boar, rhinosaurus, hippopotamus, cattle, pig, rabbit and monkey, as well as reptilian and amphibian creatures like tortoises 
and alligators, aquatic animals like sharks and stingrays, and birds like peacocks. For more information on this important aspect of India's cultural heritage, please continue to follow our channel. Now moving towards our fourth topic Good Governance Day. Good Governance Day is observed on 25th December in India, on the occasion of the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. This day was instituted by the Narendra Modi government in 2014 with the aim of increasing awareness about government services and accountability among the general public and encouraging good governance as a habit among civil servants. The main goal of Good Governance Day is to ensure that all citizens are treated fairly by the government and have access to the benefits of various government services. In 2019, the government also launched the Good Governance Index on this day. The GGI is a tool that assesses the level of good governance in a particular state at a given time, based on various parameters. It helps in shaping the future development of the state. Now fifth topic is foreign policy of India. In 2022, India faced a difficult geopolitical and diplomatic situation, particularly with the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. India adopted a policy of non-alignment in the face of growing tensions between the US and European Union on one side and Russia on the other. India refused to accept Western sanctions and instead increased its military and all trade with Russia. Now sixth topic is animation, visual effects, gaming and comic, AVGC, sector. The government has recently announced that this sector has the potential to provide employment to over 20 lakh people in the next 10 years, with an expected growth rate of 16 to 17 percent. The AVGC sector in India has seen significant growth in recent times, with many global players entering the market to take advantage of offshore delivery of services. Currently, India contributes approximately $2.5 to $3 billion to the estimated $260 to $275 billion global AVGC market. To further develop the AVGC sector in India and create job opportunities, a task force recently submitted a report on the potential of the AVGC XR, animation, visual effects, gaming and comics extended reality sector. The report recommends establishing a national centre of excellence for the sector, as well as regional centres of excellence in collaboration with state governments to provide access to local industries and promote local talent and content. Now seventh and last topic, the Centre for Economics and Business Research, a British consultancy, has stated that India will become the third largest economy by 2035 moving up from its current position as the fifth largest. In its annual World Economic League table, the CEBR predicted that India's annual GDP growth rate will average 6.4% over the next five years and 6.5% in the subsequent nine years. The CEBR also stated that by 2037, the world's GDP will be doubled as developing economies catch up with wealthier ones. The East Asia and Pacific region is expected to account for over a third of global output by 2037, while Europe's share is predicted to shrink to less than a fifth. However, the global economy is expected to face a recession in 2023 due to rising interest rates implemented by central banks to combat higher inflation. The global economy surpassed $100 trillion for the first time in 2022 but is expected to stall in 2023 as policy makers continue to address rising prices. Hope you found this video helpful. Also, you can find the notes of this video in the current affairs course on Edurif. Link of the course has been provided in the description below. For your information, Edurif offers the most structured course on current affairs, offering daily, weekly and monthly current affairs at a single place. Please subscribe to our channel to get regular notifications of our daily current affairs videos and other updates. You can give us suggestions feedback in the comments section as well. Thank you.